Hey everyone, to say that it has been crazy busy here would be the understatement of the year. It has been absolutely insane from the weeks leading up to the uh, very first reptile show that was had over in Grand Junction or in the mountains or the western slope of Colorado. So the days leading up to that, the days that have hence followed forth and it's going to continue for the next two weeks or so. And I have had absolutely zero time to do any amount of very good solid research, even though I have a couple good ideas for videos for everyone, but I've had zero time to even research it, let alone script it, record it, edit it, do all of the stuff to give you guys a really good finished product. So with that in mind, I still wanna pump out very good information. This brings me to a very good chance to do something that I've been talking about for almost a year now. And that is, I'm going to start a new series. So we have the series of the United States of Reptile, Reptile from every single one. I'm gonna to try to remember to put the playlist for it right here. They're in all of the YouTube shorts, as well as I also posted on TikTok and blah, 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 blah. But I wanna introduce everyone to as many animals individually as I can, because a good chunk of them have very good and very interesting stories. And I've had a lot of them for a very long period of time. Now, a lot of these are probably going to be put into the YouTube shorts. So I'll start to make an actual playlist of them. So that way they can theoretically, I think you should be able to bounce back and forth between shorts and videos if it's in the playlist format. I'm pretty sure we'll find out pretty quickly. But a lot of these will probably end up being shorts, but for some of the ones that are a longer one or have longer stories, more in-depth stories, or ones that I wanna talk a little bit more about will end up as a regular YouTube video, but probably a little bit shorter. So that way you guys get to finally see a lot of the animals a little bit more often, a little bit more interesting about them because they are really cool. I'm sorry, little girl. And that way I can finally make up on my promise that I'm finally gonna do this as well as you know giving regular scheduled content for YouTube algorithms and all that, blah, 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 as usual. So to get things started with this kind of introductory video uh, to kind of get the ball rolling, we're gonna start with one of my oldest reptiles. Well, at least I've had the longest. This is Brandy. So Brandy is a just a normal ball python or wild type ball python that we purchased from a local reptile breeder here in Colorado. They're high streets exotics. Um, I think at the time they weren't even established as high streets exotics yet. Um, we got her under the assertion that she is a 50% Volta, or the Sub-Saharan, those incredibly large ball pythons. And Brandy is, in fact, a huge girl. She's really thin right now because she actually just had a clutch of eggs earlier this year, and she's only just now starting to get back on food. She's only had three or four uh, smaller meals because I normally feed, like, Brandy could take a, a pretty good-sized rat. She actually, at her full weight, weighs just at 4,000 grams, like 4,029 or something is when we weighed her before uh, we started pairing her up for this last breeding season. So she is a big girl. A big sign of the Volta ball pythons are their heads. They usually have very large, sometimes a little bit more square looking heads, and Brandy certainly has that. Another thing about Brandy is actually she's really cool. She actually has more banding. And that's what originally she was kind of being called was the branded girl, hence Brandy, where you can see that, yeah, she has a little bit more pattern here, but she doesn't have any of those alien heads that some of the ball pythons have. And yeah, we know that Mojave is really famous for that, but a lot of the normal ball pythons have that too. But you can see she has more just straight striping into her. And we actually now have babies that have been kept back multiple generations as holdbacks produced from Brandy here. And they throw this same type of banding pattern. And we're not 100% sure if it's genetic or not. Essentially, what I have to do is now take a boy that is now several generations removed and pair it back to Brandy to see if some of that banding pulls through. So Brandy's daughter, Brandy Jr., or BJ, we have her, we're going to be pairing her up again this year. If she lays, we'll probably keep one of her. If she has a boy that is more striped, so this will now be two generations down and moved over out crossed a little bit, we'll put it back to Brandy to see whether or not that banding actually pulls through or not. So fingers crossed, we'll see what happens with that. But this is a very good girl. We've had her like eight or nine years at this point. So she's not the oldest animal, but although we don't know technically her full age, she was a already proven female when we got her. But overall, she is an absolutely wonderful little animal. I say little, she's a very large ball python. But again, just a little skinny from, you know, starting to put weight back on from laying eggs. But Brandy, I think, is a very good start to the series of 
all of my animals and I'll be trying to remember to at least post the smaller ones or maybe smaller clips on TikTok and maybe even on YouTube shorts if I can't get the whole playlist thing to work like that. But anyway, thank you all so much. Forgive me for the lack of the regular reptile content that I'm giving you guys. It has just been absolutely crazy here and it's probably not going to stop until probably close to September too because we're doing like summer festivals and stuff in the small town close to us as well. So hopefully everyone, thank you so much. Hope you enjoy this. Hopefully you can give Brandy some love as well as all the other animals that will be coming out subsequently in the following weeks. So again, thank you so much. Hope everyone's having a great day and we will check you next time.